All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. If you are from North Carolina, you're going to want to watch this because this is uh, pretty damn big. And <laughs> oh, the liberals are just crying, crying, crying right now that the whole world's going to fall apart and it's just going to be the wild, wild west out there. But anyway, before we get started talking about the permit, uh, pistol permit to purchase deal in North Carolina. I want to talk to you about a couple things. We're getting ready to start doing shooting three gun again. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to revamp a rifle. Of course I am. And I'm going to take you along the journey. Uh, basically what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to upgrade your starter rifle. Uh, the fine folks over there at Armaspec sent me one of these things. And I'll tell you what, this is the new uh, SRS what is it? Yes, SRS. This is their Gen 4, which is funny because, like, man, I wonder if anybody's got any videos out on this thing. So I looked it up, Armaspec SRS. Well, sh okay, well, there's me. Okay, well, the wrong one, but it was just me. All right, so anyway, I'm thinking I might be the first one to do this interchangeable weights. Right now it's set up with just a regular H buffer, uh, and we're going to run it like that. So also, uh, is it has it. The lower on that particular rifle uh, does not have any upgrades. It's just got a uh, mil spec lower receiver uh, build kit in it. So we're going to be changing out the safety sector selector switch and a couple other things, roll pins. Uh, yeah. All right. And also, we got the boys over there at Refuge Medical. We're going to be doing a review on this guy this week. <laughs> things are slowing down at real work, which is making it a lot more fun for me. And yeah, I got to do something around the house besides sit here behind a desk. So we're going to run a gun and do some three gun shooting. So. Anyway, let's talk about this. North Carolina, ha, ha, ha. Um, North Carolina House votes to override Governor Cooper's veto over pistol permit bill. Okay, so what's happened in North Carolina? Okay, you had to have a pistol permit issued by your local sheriff's department to enable you to be able to take that pistol permit to your local gun store, fill out the uh, 4473, which you still have to do, and buy a pistol. You still have to be 21 in North Carolina. So, ooh, the wild, wild west, and the, what they're going to do, it's absolutely funny as hell. So, what's happening now? Uh, you don't have to have a pistol permit, which is really cool. So, let's talk about this real quickly. This comes to us, by the way, of the guys over there at Channel 11 News. Raleigh, North Carolina. North Carolina House lawmakers voted to override Governor Roy Cooper's veto of a pistol permitting bill. Okay, so uh, yeah, so they issued a bill. The House and the Senate voted it in. Uh, Roy Cooper, who's a liberal, whiny ass little bitch, uh, decided to go ahead and veto it. They went back to the House and they overruled the veto. It's the first time Republican lawmakers have accomplished this since 2018, and it took some help from Democrats in the House. Now, everybody thinks that Democrats are all evil and bad. No. No, no, not all Democrats. Most of your big city slickers who sit there and, well, they're they're favoring to the people who they're feeding, okay? Uh, they steal money, rob to pay Paul, Peter, and pay those people so that they can figure out what hotel to put the homeless in. Not that I like homeless people, but anyway, this is the way it is. Republicans have a supermajority in the Senate and voted to override the veto Tuesday. That is today, but the, no. What the hell? That was yesterday. But the GOP is one vote short of a supermajority in the House, meaning they needed to reach across the aisle. Senate Bill 41 will eliminate required background checks for handguns conducted by local sheriff's office. And in Mecklenburg County, it's all kinds of stuff, man. They make you go through the background checks, not only the background checks, but you go through mental health checks, things of that nature. The bill also allows people attending religious services. Ooh at places that also serve as schools to carry guns. And it uh, it also launches a statewide firearm safe storage awareness issue. Initiative. Good God, John. 71 Republicans voted to for the override with 46 Democrats voting against it. Uh, after years of Governor Roy Cooper obstructing our constitutional rights, today marks a long overdue victory for law-abiding gun owners in our state. Senators Danny Earl Britt Jr. and Robeson, Warren Daniel uh, of Burke, oh wait a minute, of Robeson County, sorry, Warren Daniel of uh, Burke County, Jim Perry of Lenore, and Bobby Hannig of Curatech, uh, Curatech, Curatuck said in a statement, but by successfully overriding Governor Corey Cooper's veto, we have guaranteed our secured and secured Second Amendment rights for North Carolinians and set forth a path to overcoming any future impediments from the lame duck governor. That guy's a lame duck for sure. Uh, you know what? I almost equate him to Biden. They're just 
ignorant and they do what they're told without any debate allowed by GOP leaderships because of the arguments were too compelling for them to hear the house voted to override my veto and eliminate strong background checks for handguns in North Carolina governor, allowing known domestic abusers and mentally ill people to buy handguns puts communities at risk. Total BS, okay? Attorney General Josh Stein, a fellow Democrat who hopes to succeed Cooper as governor, claimed dangerous people will have easier access to firearms. And you know my drill on that one. Uh, Trey Gowdy, the other night, went after this thing happened in Nashville. Well, first of all, that's a sick individual. Second of all, he's like, I don't see how anyone who supports the Second Amendment could argue for this. Trey, no one's arguing for that. No one agrees that an individual like that uh, should be allowed to have a firearm. But you know what? The way you guys look at it, it is anyone with a firearm is a potential criminal or murderer. Now dangerous people, okay? Uh, now dangerous people, like violent criminals and domestic abusers, will be able to more easily get their hands on guns. Well, I got news for you. Anybody wants to get their hands on a gun is pretty much going to be able to get their hands on a gun. That's why y'all want to get rid of all guns. Too many worry that their kids may not come home from school. Please, please, please stop with that bullshit. Gun violence is a terrifying threat, and eliminating background checks will make the job of a law enforcement officer more difficult while our legislators failed us. Right now, uh, and I don't know if it's still ongoing, but the uh, sheriff at Mecklenburg County is being sued because it takes six to eight months to get a handgun permit. I'll continue to do everything in my power to keep the people safe. All right. Republicans have pushed back on that claim by countering that there have been significant updates to the national background checks. And there have. Uh, the pistol purchase and permitting system is saving lives throughout the North Carolina by preventing homicides. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The people of color. Why, okay, so we're going to bring that into it. And we will. I'll talk about this. Uh, I was talking to my good buddy. Um, uh, we were talking about how his niece sent him an article and uh she said you know that uh gun deaths uh for minors are now surpassed vehicle deaths and i'm just like well if you count gang banging which that majority of those gang bangers who get killed are under 17 and that's who they're including this act is disregard to community safety chester b williams with a better chance a better community paul valone a grassroots north carolina supports the bill once we repeal the purchase permit law what will find is what we'll find is the background checks are being done at the time of the point of sale rather than five years earlier uh yes this is absolutely crazy so with anyway this is good news for north carolina uh this is something that's been really bad contention contentious uh the sheriff's office will not issue any pistol purchase permits but will continue to offer the services that it has previously provided with regard to concealed carry permits fingerprinting yeah I'm still trying to figure out Mecklenburg County's website to go ahead and get my renewal, which you click on it, nothing, 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 nothing. So anyway, with that being said, guys, uh, good day for North Carolina, in my pu in my view. Uh, will 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 firearm violence? Uh, let's see, violence committed with a firearm will those increase due to this? I don't think so. You still have to go through a background check. The only thing that the sheriff deputy permitting thing, uh, for the most part, especially here in Mecklenburg County and all the liberal places where it takes six to eight months to get through, uh, yeah, y'all think that. So with that being said, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. I can't wait to get back out there and do some three-gunning. It is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to do Carolina three-gun. I'm going to see if Walnut Grove is still going on. I understand uh, from my friend Mike Willis, who, by the way, suckered me into uh, buying a couple more of these guys, Microtech. We are going to do a bid, com uh, a bid comparison. That's what I do. So we are going to do a comparison between, say, this thing, which is a cheap. And I actually went out and bought these just because this is a cheap knockoff of a Microtech. Um, I do have... The uh, two of these, this is the Ultratech right here. This is one that they gave to me. Um, and here is a Chinese version. They're very similar, but we're going to do a comparison of the two. And the quality is right off the, the bat. Hold on. You can hear the difference. All right. With that being said, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and have already done so. And in the great words of the real Cobra Burnout, I am out of here. Boom. Y'all be good.